Imagine eating a seven-course meal, but you can't see a thing. That's right. It is the latest foodie adventure, and you can try it at a local restaurant. Fox Show's Io Elise is here with more about this really one-of-a-kind dining experience, Io. Yeah, that's right. Wild Pines Public House in Camas is home to a dark dining experience where diners can have an amazing meal but not be able to see a single bite of it. What you're going to be doing, this is going to be a very unique experience. You're going to have a lot of fun. Inside Wild Pines Public House in Camas, you'll find something you may not expect. What it is is, is, is an opportunity where you dine in 100% complete darkness. You won't see the hand in front of your face. And the reason for that is because is when you lose one of your senses, your sense of sight, your other senses become much more heightened. And it's called the Black Forest Dark Dining Experience. Guests get a seven-course meal. But you don't know what any of it is. This is fine dining trivia. So in a nutshell, you're trying to figure out what each of the different courses are inside of your group. And Black Forest is just one of a few dozen permanent dark dining experiences worldwide. Owner Jim Rice opened the restaurant in April. Well, it's interesting. We initially thought that maybe somebody would do this once a year uh, on occasion. But what we're finding is people go through the experience and the first thing they're doing as they're coming out is they want to know when the menu is changing so that they can be able to do it again. Rice says that creating the experience was challenging. Everything from getting the room pitch black to finding the right night vision goggles to use. These are um, generation three military grade night vision goggles, believe it or not. Even the right pens to keep track of drink orders. With night vision goggles, the ink doesn't show up. So it's little lessons learned that you had to be able to go through. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. All right, go ahead and put your hands on my shoulders. Okay. And that challenge also applies to Chef Brandon Edgerton. I did a lot of testing on that. I had a couple first groups where I had some dipping sauces because I thought it'd be a good idea and quickly learned that was not a good option. <laughs> Trying to dip something in the dark does not work as well as you would hope. So part of the process of creating the menu includes dishes that are easier to eat in the dark. So the bechamel, rosemary and lemon bechamel. I use it for a fondant potato as our hors d'oeuvre to start it off. And for folks on the fence about dining in darkness, they both say that accommodating for allergies and safety is important to the experience. And it's not nearly as messy as you might think. That I hope that people are going to take away that experience where they remember the moment they're talking about it with their friends, and it is something that they're going to remember for months, if not years, into the future. And if you're interested, you can always make reservations on Wild Pines' website. We'll have a link at kptv.com for more. Back to you. Mm, it's, <laughs> it's fun to watch the video, though. Like See Shauna licking a plate? <laughs> <laughs> the guy twining his straw, all those things. Yeah. I mean, it's a really unique idea. Yeah, it's so interesting. And also, um, they invited the servers, the staff, to come try this experience ahead of time. And when we left, one of the servers said, hey, that's what that looks like? I haven't <laughs> seen it before. Oh, my so gosh. It's interesting to see, yeah. like, you're so used to seeing your food and then eating it. So right. I bet a lot of people will want to try it, right? We so eat too. with our senses, you know? Yeah, so. definitely. Okay, Love thank it. you. Thank you.